I get senior, senior woman when it comes for this arrangement. And he talk of no other than Ade Binkwe, Afin, Akin Fola Jimmy. Welcome to Good Morning Nigeria Show. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, we could not just waste time. We just go straight into the discussion. I've been talking about international observance and how people go where Ashwebi to celebrate. If you they look the condition of humanitarian workers across the world and the things when they do, you think say today that they will be say the, the celebration will be big celebration. Say yes, these humanitarian workers that they work well, that they try, or now they make we go make all of us just settle down, think, say ah, we get plenty work when we still need to do. How you go take approach this particular day and the celebration? Yeah, today, um, Humanitarian Day is a very good one, and uh, I think is uh, is a day everybody should sit down and think of stretching hands of love to another person. Mm. It is actually a celebration, mm. and um, it's also a time of uh, reflection too. To how can I affect another person's life? So I think. It calls for reflection. Mm, it calls for reflection. Maybe we yeah. settle down, think and say, ah, say, ah this person, ah, I feel a Because a lot of like things, a lot of people are suffering. Mm. But we don't, you, most of us don't know until exactly. we, get, we come across them. Make I ask this question. Mm. Uh, you get one wise man, Pato Rankin, when say, thank God, say, Beleno, we show, show glass. If not, na black cloth, now everybody go away. The reason why he talk that in, I say, people, they go through different situations. Yes, but... Course. Then go just use maybe smile mm. or happiness carry out. Humanitarian work as a human being. Instead of girl in your own problem. Mm. But in the think of other people, I won't ask you. She I say humanitarian people. Now tall people, they bond them. When they go come, come out to come be better people, mm. or the thing they it they inside everybody body. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's inside of you. Mm. It's not what you just copy from anybody. Mm. When you have passion, when you are passionate about helping others. Is inbuilt. It's mm. not what you feel like. Oh, I want to start doing it. If you copy other people to do it, mm. at a point you will drop it. Mm. You not go to continue. At all. Do you understand? No, they don't do it. They don't do it. Mm. It's just inside of you. Mm. It just, it's just you. Mm. It's just who you are. Like my own foundation, I officially I started like six years ago. Okay. But even as a child, mm. I've been giving. You yes, will share your biscuits. Everything mm. I give people. Because when I was growing in, my mother was more or less a philanthropist. Mm. I saw the way she was giving. And the thing is, even at, at all, it's just from me. Natural. It's just what we did. Natural. Because there's one thing, and when you see people and you have passion on them, nothing within your hand where you no go give where them. You go give them. Do you understand? Then especially people who are in need. Mm. My one I deal with women and uh, widows, women and girl child. Why widows? Because you look at it, it's, it's a everyday happening in Nigeria, mm. all over the world. Mm. When a woman loses her husband, everything about her is gone. Mm. Then, what do, you, what do you expect from such women? Especially those who, who were not working before they lost their husband. A lot of things, a lot of challenges, the school fees, house rent, how to feed. So even feed their mouth, three square meals is difficult mm. for a lot of women. So I picked women and said, as we all know that we are weaker vessels, so there's little we can do. Mm. Even when husband and wife date together, at times they are no fee, if you know put if you know put together, as in maybe when they were together, they were striving to make ends meet and they could not before the man even died. Mm. Now imagine two things, two uh, a thing that two people could not do successfully. Now imagine a woman, a single, a single person, and they need. So that's why. Anytime I see a woman like myself, I look at it and say, this is a woman like myself. Mm. Going through the little I can do, mm. I always render to so any So this will not show, say, as, as humans, make we, we need to be aware of our environment. Humans, yes. And the understanding, say, people, they go through a lot. A lot of people are going through a lot. They are even around you. Mm. We know them. Mm. At times, we close our eyes as if we don't know they are going through challenges. Mm. We know them. We can even identify them. Very true. We can identify them. When you see a woman, a widow who has three kids, mm. no, no matter what she's earning in a month, even in a year, can the she pressure. take care of the prayer? Look at the country, the state of the country now. Mm. But we can't talk about how, mm. you know, uh, the humanitarian person no go can't take advantage of the humanitarian because some people wicked. Once they see, say, you they give, then go just come, they collect, collect. And you, when they give, <laughs> self. Now, from your own, the one way you get, yes. now you they give. 
Okay, like my own now. When I started, I started with all my phones. Then no, from your my pocket. pocket, nobody. Hey. My pocket, the first three editions I did, it was my pocket. Then along the line, when people saw what I was doing, they were inspired. Mm. You know, say a lot of people in Nigeria, eh, they believe that when you are into an uh, NGO, you just won't make money. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. But the thing is, to the glory of God, the little God has given me, I just said, okay, let me share with people. I work so hard to earn my money. But when I started, after the third edition, she saw it. She started calling, the, she started joining me. I have a team, mm. Onibus Foundation team. I have them. They have been so supportive. Mm. They just came from nowhere, and we formed uh, a team. Anytime you want to reach out to people, they donate. They are talking. Mm. When you are giving, it's, it's just the willingness. It's, do, it's just the thought behind your giving. Mm -hmm. It's not because you want to give. Okay, look at those widows. 8,001 of them, we don't know them. Mm -hmm. At times, some of them will see me on the streets and greet me. Oh, Madam, I'll just be looking at them. She said, ah, I'm one of the widows. You know, that inspires me. It gives me joy mm. anytime I see people like that. Make we ask about support. Because the truth be say, whether person is a girl child, whether a widow, whether not even just human, every human being supposed they enjoy certain privileges. Mm. Nobody so because nobody they nobody no be like say no be human being for inside society. Yeah. But they be like say for our own society. Now some you know, people they get the money. They put some people down, especially yes. women. Yes. And they go they raise other people up. Mm. They get anything where we say government fee do. No be just to come see, give them. maybe through laws like, and, and supporting Una. Yes. So see say like, everything balance. Like we've written to uh, government. Then they then they do well. I know, so if you feel no one talk See, about uh, then they do well. For the Lagos State, uh, for the first lady of Lagos State, mm. she responded. We had a meeting with her, mm. and she promised to do something. And I believe she's going to do it for mm. us. Mm. Because we can't do it all alone. True. We can't do it all alone. Like, one of the challenges we have is that a lot of people want to come. Some people that are not even in need. Who, the people we deal with are people who are really in need. Mm. And we try to do our background checks mm -hmm. to identify those we want to empower. We'd, we've empowered so many women in Lagos State. We've empowered, we've given, reach, we reached out to them in clothing, food stops, and all that. We, last year, we donated a mathematics key, a game to public school in, in Lagos State, five public schools mm. in Lagos State. That was a wonderful one because it could help, it's actually helping those kids to love mathematics more. Then we've done a lot in Lagos. Universal Foundation has done a lot in Lagos. We need support from people, from government. We have a lot of, it's okay. We, are, we want to do more, mm. but we, we can't do more than what we have. Uh, so. Even we, where we be new story people self, we believe, say, the opportunity to reach out, that's something where we say plenty of people go, you know, go take advantage of, but you don't explain some things where concern how it did every human being body to help. To like help. your own your own example, not be say anybody force you. Mm. You know, from what in mom see being they do, you learn. Mm. And when you small, hey, come and take this kit, come and mm. take granite, come and take you they share all your things and you don't see continue them as you grow older. Mm. And hopefully more response will come because the work where they do and the work where we say they touch lives, lives. And they make people. Okay, let me just better. give you an instance of a woman. Okay. Like the two edition, the second edition we had she was a widow, she's a widow rather, she was not doing anything, she asked for kids. Mm. So I got a bar, a, a bar, a story, I went to see her, I couldn't hold my tears, hey. I couldn't hold my tears. Then I, I, talk, I spoke with her and I said, what can you do? She said, okay, she can start frying, plantain, akara and all that. We empower, we set her up. The last edition, about the, the fourth edition, she donated 20 cartons of noodles. Mm. Yes. The person when we say they empower. We be empowered. Now, yes. they give back. And you know some people, they, I always tell them, to be widowed is not to be widowed. Mm -hmm. If I widow, it doesn't mean that that's the end of life. Mm. I know a lot of widows that are doing where they lost their husband when they were young. They are doing where they need their feet now. Mm. Then I keep telling them, we keep uh, encouraging them, do something. Now, we tell women, you don't have to wait till you lose your husband. You don't have to wait. Mm. The thing is, em get empowered now. Mm. The little you can do for yourself, do it. Okay, there's this young lady that contacted me on Instagram. Mm. She told me about her story. I actually didn't believe it. Mm. But I sent one of my team to go and check her. When, I saw, when my team told me she's uh, 
physically challenged. All right. So, like you talk, when they do a background check, yeah, we and they confirm. Yes. Where me, I know be pastor, but I go just pray. So, as we continue this, we work. We go continue to touch lives and uh, they make life better for people. But where we they now? We go just play one report uh, so that people go really understand this particular discussion. What would they discuss? Don't say, not be until you go uh, USA, go help people, no. let me help. No, until they show the thing for TV. Mm. He, from the society where you there, from inside your compound, you feel they help people. And a world humanitarian uh, day we they celebrate. Thank you very much yeah, uh, for so coming cool. inside our studio.